What up? Tyler here with Tarver Academy. If you could hit subscribe, just punch it right in the face, that'd be great. Not a person, just the subscribe button. You click that. Today we're going to be talking about how to share a resource folder in Google Drive. Intro. Welcome back. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say I've got a folder. Let's say I go new folder and this is my resource folder and I want to share this with my class, my students. Um, so I take that and then I have my information. Oh, we've got it inside of a folder. I'm going to click and drag that just straight to my drive so that it's not inside of a folder. It's its own folder. Okay, so in here, let's say these are my resources, which is it's two of the same thing. I'm going to put those in my resource folder. And these are just resources I'm gonna to give to my students. So um, right now I can tell from looking at the folder, you see how it's just like a blank gray folder? I don't have to share it with anyone. The de default for Google Drive sharing is that it's just private, it's just for you. Um, so it's not shared with anyone, no one else can see it. And that's if you create a folder on its own. Now if you put a folder within a shared folder, then it's gonna be shared with the people that the folder above it is shared with, the, the encompassing folder. Um, so. I am going to, um, uh, now you see the one right underneath it, it's got the little person, you know, the little, little person's head, that means it's shared with someone. So right there I can tell, oh, that's shared with them, those two above it, they're not, they're just mine. Um, but I want to share this resource folder with my class. There are a couple ways to do that. Um, from the folder, this is, this is going to be universal, so you right click, go to share, and this is like adding people to your folder. So now you can go in here and you can start adding students or teachers or whoever um, to this and it'll notify them and say, here you go, this has been shared with you. Um, just make sure, like I can add in as many as I want. Um, so I can keep adding people on here. Um, I can add any, any, anybody else in there that I'd like. Boom, those three people are shared with. I can change the setting, they can only view it. I don't want them to edit my folder, I just want them to see it. It's a resource folder, not something that's collaborative. Um, so all the students will be able to see it and I can write a note. Here are some resources for you. Now, um, that's one way to do it. Um, if you've got like 100 students or you've got a, like a whole like Google Classroom of people, like this can be like you can add classes in it, but there's an easier way. So um, it's resources, not something that's like confidential or that, you know, a lot of people can't see. Uh, so what you can do, I'm gonna X out of these people. I'm gonna go down here to advanced in the lower right. Okay, and once I'm in here, it's the same thing as I was doing. Um, I was adding people in, I can still do the same thing here, but it also lets me see who I have it shared with individually, just me. This weird email address I started like 10 years ago, sorry. Um, it's attached to a YouTube channel, this one, so can't change it. Um, now you go to right here, private, only I can access. That's talking about the restrictions for that folder. Hit change. Now, I can make it public where anybody can find it. I don't want that. I want to share with my class. Yes, I don't care if people find it on the internet, but it's not like I want to advertise my resources. Anyone with the link. Only people with the exact link can now see what's in this folder. Now, be warned. I say be warned. It's not like a warning, but be, be knowledgeable. If one of your students takes this folder, they can copy the link, and then they can share that with other people. They can share with another class, they can share with their buddy, they can put it on Facebook, whatever. They can share the link. Not like people are like clamoring to get your you know, high school math resources or whatever you have. Maybe they are, I don't know. So anyone with the link can view only. I can select if they can add, edit, whatever. I say view, especially if I'm adding with showing it to anyone, I'll just say view only. Save. Now, it shows right here, anyone who has the link can view. I can take this link, hit Command C, copy or Control C if you're on a Mac. All right, then hit send. I don't have anybody I sent it to. Um, I just wanna save it. I already saved it, but cancel. Save, done. Okay, now I can take that link and I can mail it to my whole class. I just hit paste in there, um, resources, or I can go into Google Classroom and then I can just paste the, hey guys, here's the resources. You can put it in the syllabus section, which is the third one, the about section. And that way that resources link is there. They can just click it and go to it. No access, but they click on it. You know, a lot of times you get a lot of hassle as a teacher in Google Classroom if somebody's trying to access something, but you have it limited to like your domain or their specific email, they're signed into their, you know, regular Gmail account, then it's gonna kick back and they're gonna be like, no access, I don't have access. Like you get it like two out of 30 kids will have that problem, but it's still two kids out of every class that you have to handle. If you do this, 
toss the link in, nobody has access problems. They really only get to the link through your classroom. So that's it. That's the best way I've found to share a resource folder. I hope this helped. Please subscribe. Um, hope you have a great day and never stop learning. Boom. Peace.